Hey guys, this is Good Job, and we are continuing our chapter of continuity and differentiability. And the first topic of this video is exponential function. What is an exponential function? A function of the form y is equal to f of x is equal to a raised to power x is called exponential function if the value of a is always greater than 0, a is not equal to 1 and x belongs to set of real numbers. Such function is called exponential function where a implies rate of growth and this x implies the number of time we double this rate of growth. This implies doubling. Doubling means if I say 2 raised to power 2, what does this mean? 2 implies the rate of growth and this power 2 implies the rate of doubling. Means 2 is being multiplied by itself one time. Sorry, 2 times means it is being doubled one time. Similarly, 2 raised to power 5 implies it is being doubled 5 times. So this x implies number of times this rate of growth is being doubled. Such function is called exponential function. Its domain lies in real number and its range lies from 0 to positive infinity. Cool. Such function. Sorry. Cool. Now there is a special exponential function written as y is equal to fx is equal to e raised to power x. This exponential function is called natural exponential function where e is a numeric constant just like pi and its value is equal to 2. 0.71828. So in simple word, exponential growth implies how a function grows when they grow with respect to their own value or how a function decays as it decays with respect to their own values. Now we'll solve a function including the exponent function. We'll find its derivative but before that the derivative of a natural exponent function is again the exponent function. Okay. Now in this case we have to find its derivative. So we have y is equal to e x divided by sin x. So dy by dx will be equal to d e x of e x raised to power sorry divided by sin x. This is u, this is v, we will use u by v rules for in case of division which is equal to sin x second function into derivative of first minus first into derivative of second function divided by second function whole square which is equal to sin x derivative of natural exponent is equal to natural exponent so sin x into e x minus e x sin x ke derivative hota hai cos x into cos x divided by sin square x which is equal to e x don't make a common so e x into sin x minus cos x divided by sin square x and hence the result. So the next function, so in the next example we are given the function y is equal to e x raised to power 3. So its derivative will be given as d y dx is equal to d dx of e x raised to power 3. So its derivative kaise hoga? Simply, sabse pehle ye kya hamare paas? exponential function is ka derivative kya fir se exponential function so we'll get e x raised to power 3 but ye x raised to power 3 bhi bach gaya to iska bhi hame derivative lena padega so d by dx of x cube which is equal to e x cube into 3 x square which is equal to 3 x square into exponential x raised to power 3 next example is we are given a function y is equal to exponential 2x minus sorry Next example is we are given a function y is equal to exponential 2x into sin x. So derivative of this function dy by dx is equal to d dx of e 2x into sin x. This is first function. This is second function. Using the derivative for two functions in multiplication, we get derivative of first function into second function plus second function sorry first function into derivative of second function which is equal to is ke derivation kya hogi? e 2x into d by dx of 2x into sin x plus 
exponential 2x into derivation derivative of sin x is cos x so in this case derivative of 2x is equal to 2 so we get 2 sin x into exponential 2x plus exponential 2x into cos x and hence the result next topic is differentiation of logarithmic function what is a logarithmic function a function of the form y is equal to log to the base a b is called logarithmic function if a raised to power y is equal to b in other words in simple words logarithmic function implies different approach to exponential or indices for example suppose we have an exponential function 2 raised to power 3 its value will be equal to 8 okay how can we write it in logarithmic form sorry how can we write it in logarithmic form logarithmic form is is called a log to the base a a ke hamare paas 2 iski value kitni hai 8 8 is equal to iski power kitni hai 3 if i can write it in this form iski ye wali form kya hogi a raised to power y is equal to b a ke aage hamare paas 2 yahan se compare kar lo log to the base a sorry a aage hamare paas 2 b aage hamare paas 8 and y ki value kya aagi 3 usi tarah se say 2 raised to power 0 is equal to 1 to iski value kya aajayegi log to the base 2 0 is equal to 1 or 2 raised to power 1 by 2 is equal to 2 raised to power minus 1 sorry 2 raised to power minus 1 is equal to 1 by 2 to iska log kya likhenge log ki form it will be log to the base a a kya hamare paas 2 y kya hamare b kya hamare paas minus 1 sorry 1 by 2 is equal to minus 1 this is how you write logarithmic in the form of exponential matlab aap exponential ko ek different form mein likh rahe ho inko bolte hain logarithmic function so basically logarithmic function implies if you know how fast you are growing and you know what will be your value or biggest value after growing tell me how much time it took to reach this value again if you know how fast you are growing and you know how big you'll become tell me how fast you were growing or how much time it took to reach that value and the differentiation or derivative or logarithmic function is written as d by dx of log x is equal to 1 upon x now let's look at some examples first function is log cos of ex we have to find its derivative so d dx of log cos ex will be equal to अब log का derivative क्या होता है 1 upon x so in this case में x क्या हमारे पास cos e x so we get differentiation of log cos e x is equal to 1 upon cos exponential of x or natural exponent into अब ये तो हो गया इसका log का derivative अब इस cos e x का भी derivative होगा so d by d x of cos e x which is equal to cos e x की derivative क्या होगी minus sin e x so minus sin e x upon cos e x into d by d x of अभी cos का angle रह गया that is natural exponent उसका भी derivative होगा e x which is equal to exponent natural exponent into minus sin e x upon cos e x now we know sin upon cos क्या होता है tangent so we get minus e x into tangent e x and hence the result now the next function is log of log x so its derivative will be d dx of log log x which is equal to ab log x ka derivative kya hota hai 1 upon x yahan pe first case mein log log ke case mein x kya hai log of x so its derivative will be 1 upon log x but iska bhi hame aage derivative karna padega so we get d by dx of log x which is equal to 1 upon x into 1 upon log x which is equal to 1 upon x log x and hence the result now before solving some other example let's look at some expression regarding logarithmic functions so log of two functions in multiplication becomes log of first plus log of second and log of two functions in division 
becomes log of a minus log of second okay another point is log of a raised to power b will become b into log of a and vice versa as well okay now the next example is we have given a function y is equal to cos x into cos 2x into cos 3x we have to find its derivative so iska derivative find out karne ke liye hum kya karenge log on both sides so taking log on both sides we get log y is equal to log of cos x cos 2x cos 3x अब ये तीन फंक्शन गैप है मल्टीप्लीकेशन में तो तीन का लॉग क्या हो जाएगा अलग विद साइन ऑफ एडिशन सो वी गेट लॉग कॉस एक्स प्लस लॉग कॉस टू एक्स प्लस लॉग कॉस थ्री एक्स नाउ टेकिंग डेरिवेटिव विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स ऑन बोथ साइड वी गेट डी बाय डी एक्स ऑफ लॉग वाई लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज इक्वल टू डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ लॉग cos x plus d by dx of log cos 2x plus d dx of log cos 3x now derivative of log y will be equal to 1 upon y dy by dx and derivative of log cos x will be equal to 1 upon cos x plus cos 2x ka derivative kya hoga 1 upon cos 2x into derivative of cos x ab is case mein 1 upon ye to aa gaya log of cos x ka derivative iske sath kya hoga derivative of cos x which will be equal to minus sin x so we get minus sin x aur is case mein kya jayega minus sin 2x into minus sin 2x into d by dx of 2x plus 1 upon cos 3x into derivative of cos 3x minus sin 3x we'll say minus sin 3x into d by dx of 3x so its final derivative will be equal to minus sin x upon cos x minus 2x sin 2x upon cos 2x minus 3x sin 3x upon cos 3x so final result of this whole derivative or this equation will be equal to dy by dx is equal to ye y kahan chal jayega numerator mein cross multiply y into minus sign sab mein common hai bahar le aaye ab sin x upon cos x kya hota hai tangent x so we get tangent x plus yahan pe aa jayega 2x tangent 2x and 3x tangent 3x so we get 2x tangent 2x plus 3x tangent 3x and hence the result next example is we are given a function log x raised to power cos x is equal to y we have to find its derivative so first point hame kya chahiye cos x ko yahan se hatana hai so what we'll do we'll take log on both sides so taking log on both sides we get log of log x raised to power cos x is equal to log of y ab we know log of a raised to power b is equal to b log a to yahan pe a kya hamare paas log x b hai hamare paas cos x so we'll get cos x log x is equal to log y now taking differentiation or derivative of both sides with respect to x we get d by dx of cos x into log x is equal to d by dx of log y yahan pe kya lagega product rule so we get cos x into d by dx of log x plus log x into d by dx of cos x which is equal to iska derivative kya aayega 1 upon y into derivative of y that is dy by dx ab yahan pe kya ho jayega hamare paas cos x into derivative of log x 1 upon x plus log x into derivative of cos x which is equal to minus sin x so minus 
साइन x इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन वाई डी वाई बाई डी एक्स वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ डी वाई बाई डी एक्स सो डी वाई बाई डी एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू वाई क्या चला गया न्योमिनेटर में क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई वाई इन टू वन अपॉन एक्स क्रॉस एक्स माइनस लॉग एक्स साइन एक्स and hence the result so guys this was it for today we'll continue this chapter in the next video till then keep practicing